Our human body can be said the most miraculous and finest working machine of all time. And what's even more fascinating about it is the fact that all its morphological, functional and characteristic properties are defined and coded in a microscopic molecule, the DNA. There are two major types of nucleic acids, the DNA and the RNA. DNA is a well-known abbreviation that is used in reference to deoxyribonucleic acid. This is a polymer made up of deoxyribonucleotides. A nucleotide is a component which consists of three subunits, a pentose sugar, a nitrogen base and a phosphorus group. In the case of a deoxyribonucleotide, the pentose sugar will always be a deoxyribose molecule. The nitrogen base can be one among adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Adenine and guanine are purines and have double ringed structure. The other two bases are pyrimidines and are single ringed structures. In a nucleotide, the carbons of nitrogen base is numbered as 1, 2, 3 and so on. And those of the sugar is numbered as 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime and so on. When a nucleotide is formed, the nitrogen base is linked to the carbon 1 prime of the sugar by glycosidic bond. The phosphate group is linked to the carbon 5 prime by covalent bond. In some cases, the phosphate can also be attached to the carbon 3 prime. A nucleotide is named according to the types of base, sugar and number of phosphates it has. For example, this nucleotide here consists of a deoxyribose, an adenine base and one phosphate group. So, it is labelled as deoxyadenosine monophosphate. These nucleotides are get linked between one another to form a chain of nucleic acid. In this process, the phosphate group of one nucleotide is bound to the carbon 3 prime of the other. This linkage is termed as the phosphodiester bond. This process gives a long nucleic acid chain of which the backbone is the sugar phosphate combo. From this backbone, the nitrogen bases protrudes towards the side. The DNA is a double stranded structure. Thus, there are two separate nucleic acid chains which are linked together by hydrogen bonds formed between their nitrogen bases. Here, the adenine is linked with a thymine by double hydrogen bond and guanine with a cytosine by a triple hydrogen bond. This process takes place antiparallelly, which means the 3' prime end of one chain will be complementary to the 5' prime end of the other. After this linkage, the two strands get twisted around an imaginary axis forming major and minor grooves. This structure is known as double helix structure and was first explained by scientists Watson and Crick. In a eukaryotic cell, the DNA appears in a highly packed manner as chromosomes. This structure is got by supercoiling and interaction with histone protein molecules. There are five types of histones found in a human cell. 146 base pairs of negatively supercoiled DNA winds one three quarter turns around a histone octoma. This gives a beads on string appearance. This structure gets coiled even more to become a highly packed chromosome. This tiny structure inside the nucleus of a cell controls almost all the properties of our body, which is simply fascinating. 
All the necessary information to run our body are coded in DNA as base pair trimers. The way it is coded and the way it expresses its genome is a vast subject and will be covered in another video at least briefly. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and let us know your feedbacks in comment section and don't forget to subscribe to Medi Racewars. Stay connected for new videos. See you soon. Have a good day.